Okay, so I know I was supposed to do this video like about two weeks ago, but I'm finally doing it, so I'm gonna stop procrastinating and get on with the video. And today's video is sponsored by... Nobody. Hey guys, it's me, Tom Flex here. Welcome back to a comic... Well, not welcome back to... Most of the videos I've been doing have been comic book unboxings. So the, welcome to a comic book review, where today we're gonna be reviewing the all the Spawn compendiums. Oh, hell no. Well, all the compendiums so far. The next one's releasing on Christmas. 18 days before Christmas. Let's get on with it. So, first off, we got Spawn Compendium 1. This released... Excuse me, put one and released right here. This is Spawn's starting issues, and it's talking about his origins, and sort of setting up this whole universe... That sort of thing and um it's a great piece of work you have a lot of the art and stories done by todd mcfarlane and greg capullo and uh frank miller worked with todd mcfarlane on a bunch of these there's even one issue where it's just todd mcfarlane and um frank miller who did the story and the art and it's talking about Spawn's origins, it has some great moments of newsletters, some very heart-wrenching moments. It talks about Al Simmons in general and just sort of like him being Spawn and like how, how the world reacts to him being Spawn, that sort of thing. His relationship to Jason Wynn, I just find that amazing. And um, one of my favorite bits, um, I don't know, let me see if I can find it, is... Um, like when he's in hell, it says now fully. Now it says in Malabolgia's realm, it's what his warriors are made of. But here the plasm has another purpose: food without trespassers to feast on. The inhabitants would have perished long ago. So each victim became their vital nourishment, their calories, their juices, their sweet nectar. And just this one art of Al Simmons saying, "Prepared, uh, prepared demon to eat your heart." And he's talking to, um, what's this? Oh no, it's not the Violator, because in the starting book, it's talking about, um, uh, how the Violator is killing people and trying to, like, train spawn, that sort of thing, but it never really gets down to train him and they become enemies, that sort of thing, but that, but this art is just cool. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. I really love it. It's amazing. It shows, um... Wanda, who's, um, the widow of Al Simmons, and I love how, like, at the end, they always show, like, the main cover on the back here, as you can see, it's right here as well. Now, onto the description. With Spawn, legendary writer and artist Todd McFarlane unleashed his comic book anti-hero on the world, and launched the most successful independent comic book in history. A government agent, Al Simmons, was killed by his own men. Resurrected from the depths of hell, he returns to Earth as the warrior Spawn, guarding the forgotten alleys of New York City as he seeks answers about his past. Spawn grapples with the dark forces that returned him to Earth, battling en en enemies and discovering unlikely allies. As he learns to harness his extraordinary new powers, he begins to grasp the full extent of what brought him back and what he left behind. Spawn Compendium 1 presents the stories and artwork that help create the Spawn legacy. For the first time in color, it features Todd McFarlane's legacy hyper-detailed art and stories, as well as the collaborations with industry giants Greg Capullo, Batman, Alan Moore, Watchmen, Dave Sim, Cerebus, and Mark Silvestri, Uncanny X-Men, Cyber and Cyberforce, and Frank Miller, Sin City, and also did Daredevil. And Grant Morrison, who also did Batman, collects Spawn issues 1 through 50. I got a really great deal, too. I got it for, like, $45 when it was, like, $60 bucks in, the, in, the, in an actual store. But I also love the art that's on the back. It's showing, like, Spawn, that sort of thing. Uh, the one thing I do kind of regret is um, I almost I accidentally ripped out one of the pages. Almost. At, but um, I managed to save it. And, um... Yeah, that's how it happened, and, like, I managed to get it back to the way it was, but, yeah, it really is cool. But I, but that's why I'm being really careful with this, and, um, it talks about Spawn and his life in the back alleys, sort of the style between what the war is on, of heaven and hell, and how they're sort of similar in this aspect, because that's all they want is just souls. It's very similar to Neil Gaiman's Good Omens. Good Omens. 
and um, talking about how he saves Terry Fitzgerald's life. It's really amazing. I love the first compendium. It's such a great book. I totally recommend it. It's on Amazon. It's by Image Comics. Totally recommend it. It's amazing. I love it. All right, next up is Todd McFarlane's Spawn Compendium 2. This is the one I got recently. Uh, you can see my Inhumans and Spawn Compendium 2 unboxing. No, wait, it wasn't Spawn Compendium 2. It was um, Spawn Compendium 3. Um, this book just talks about sort of like um, him returning to Earth after dying, after saving Terry's life, and becoming sort of very miserable and, and angry all the time because his memories are still slowly creeping back into him. and But there'll be false idols along the way, and Cagliostro, who's an amazing character. Um, what else is there? All right, never mind, it's okay. But um, anyways, this is talking about, um, this is sort of him being involved in the fight of heaven and hell, and how and how he defeats the Malibulgia, Malibulgia or the Malibulgia, however you want to pronounce it. Put it right here. Thanks. No problem, buddy. Sort of how um, his impact has left him now as the king of hell, but he doesn't want to take it. And we get to explain that in Spawn Companion 3, but first we gotta read the back. With Spawn Companion 1, legendary arsome writer Todd McFarlane introduced the reader to the tragic and horrific tale of former soldier Al Simmons, as it collected the first 50 issues of the most successful independent comic book in history. Now, Spawn Compendium 2 presents the continuing story of Spawn, as he battles against the forces of both heaven and hell for his very soul. He thought that he had figured it out, he thought that he knew why he was killed and why he was brought back to roam the streets of New York. Unfortunately for Spawn, the trials he has faced were far, so far were just the beginning. Spawn Compendium 2 presents the continued tales of Spawn as he journeys from the back alleys of New York City to the pits of hell itself. Featuring incredible art from Greg Capullo, Batman, and stories from writers Tom McFarlane and Ryan Hall Gutman. Compendium 2 collects issues 51 through 100. Alright, next one. Also, this cover art is just amazing. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. I can't wait for the fourth one to come out. I can't wait to see what that's like. Because it's talking about the end game collection. Anyway, speaking of sort of Spawn trying to be the king of hell. Um, this book talks about that because after he killed the Malibulgia, he got his powers, and there's an empty throne, and no one's overseeing hell, and he's sort of betrayed by Cagliostro, and his memory is wiped, and then he finds out the truth about his life, like, he was kind of a miserable man before, and, um, it was kind of heartbreaking to read all that, and then, like, he, and then his mind is erased by, uh, by an archangel who is taking control of both heaven and, and hell and is very tyrannical and we'll try to find out more in Spawn Companion 4 but I can't but I can't read that yet because I because it hasn't come out yet but I'm hoping it does and that would be amazing anyways reading the description the first two volumes of the Spawn Companions have collected the first 100 issues of the acclaimed and award-winning comic book series Spawn Legendary artist and writer Tom McFarlane introduced the reader to the tragic and horrific tale of former soldier Al Simmons in the most successful independent comic book in history. Spawn Companion 3 continues the tale of the Hell Spawn as he struggles to find his place in a world that believes him dead. Enemies assault Spawn from all sides as he seeks to defend humanity from the forces of both heaven and hell. When an old ally is on the brink of death, that's Cogway Osher in this case. Spawn must, be, Spawn must make a choice that will have repercussions for years to come. We are collecting the first time, for the first time some of the hardest to find issues of your favorite series, Spawn. Spawn, Compendium 3 of writers Tom McFarlane and Brian Hall Hewen, art by Angel Medina, take you on a journey from heaven to hell and back again. Also, it's got Greg Capullo's art, which is pretty awesome. Plus, this art is just fantastic. It's just amazing. Uh, the detail is just phenomenal. And I'm planning on collecting um, the cover art gallery for Spawn, which which collects like the first hundred issues of covers and you get to see all the art in there. It's pretty amazing. But anyways, uh, Tom Flex Review, um, I love these. These are great stories for any Spawn fan or any or any people coming into the comic book world. I would totally recommend buying these. It's pretty interesting. And 
for anyone who is curious about who Spawn is, I would totally recommend starting with the Compendiums. They're all out. Well, almost all of them. They'll probably do 5 and 6, like, up until Spawn 300. And then 7 is going to be, like, a bunch of the side stories, like Kane Spawn, Gunslinger Spawn, Scorched, all that jazz. But, um, yeah, I can't wait for new Spawn books to come out. There's going to be the Scorched volume coming out and Spawn's Universe... I can't wait for that. And they're, and they're releasing Spawn slash Batman, Spawn and Batman team up uh, the whole series, which is like 160 issue, 160 pages, not issues, pages, um, 160 pages of the Batman and Spawn team up for crossovers, which I really can't wait for because I never read them and I really hope I can read them. And um, yeah, this is sort of my review of the entirety of the Spawn Compendium books. I really enjoy them and I hope you will enjoy if you ever, excuse me, go to collect them. And I totally recommend you do before any news update for like the Spawn movie comes out for the new Spawn movie. They made one, which was kind of crap, but um, I can't wait for the new iteration to come out, especially with how Tom McFarlane's direction is going, how Tom McFarlane is going in the direction of it and it's really dark and gritty and that's exactly what spawn is there's very little humor and i and i love it and i really can't wait to see what he what jamie fox will bring to al simmons anyways uh thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please like comment share and subscribe click and click the like button down below and hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss a video and bookmark this put it in your bookmark bar i know youtube i know youtube premium has like these recommendation videos and like an auto save thing you can download this but bookmark it if you ever want to find out more comic book reviews or find out characters you want to get bookmark it yeah keep yourself accountable for these sort of things it's perfect and so if and so if you ever want to talk about what comic books you might want to buy or stuff then talk to me or bookmark this. Watch my reviews and unboxings. You will be, you will not regret it. Um, I give good reviews. I do it every few days of some books and do some unboxings. So, yeah, keep be on the lookout. Watch some of my previous reviews. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.